Hello, and welcome to a peephole into the world of Sufubi. Hi! Hi! And Soft Final Toys. Um, today's spotlight is on Shoko Nakazawa. She's a Japanese artist who um, started off doing little, uh, really, really nice illustrations. And then I think Medicom might have, uh, I don't really know this for sure, but uh, Medicom picked it up and uh, she created these little, um, like, sort of soft final Byrons. Which I was going to say, what are they, Byrons? These are Byrons. There's different kinds. There's a Byron, and then there's a Rangeron. Who has the claw uh, on his back. The claw on his back, which is a collaboration with T9G. Um, oh, okay. And then we have the seedless, which is... Uh, I don't have a lot larger seedless. I've only got small ones. Um, are they called seedless? I have no idea. These are available from quite a few places. Um, they sell out pretty quick. I got most of these from resellers, but I got these two in um, DesignerCon. Did you get them in DesignerCon? Yeah, I got them in DesignerCon. Didn't get them signed. I met. We actually met Shoko Nakazawa in DesignerCon. Um, I, I showed really her a couple actually, of my nice yeah. things. Yeah, uh, and she got this signed because I just got this from the booth. But I'd actually just put these two in the car just an hour yeah, before seeing her, and I didn't realize she was there until literally I was in the queue. She's one of those lovely artists, and I showed her showed her some of the ones that I've uh, painted. I painted this guy. Oh, I didn't know you painted that one. I yeah, don't know I which ones you've done. I know you yeah, painted no, I painted that guy's like a sort of um, galaxy effect. Uh, dipped like dripping down. That's chocolate. one of her classic thing. Yeah, dipped into white chocolate. That looks pretty white chocolatey, actually. Um, but yeah, so she's one of those really nice people, but and she sort of made me feel quite nice about doing it. And she was like, oh, that's very lovely sort of thing. And <laughs> Did may, you know, may have been very, very that's patronizing. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was like, yeah, that's cool. No, um, but I mean, I've shown things to the artists before and they sort of just go, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, so it's not that great. But she was actually very, she made me feel very well. Well, that's good to be it. fair, mate. I know you paint things, but I didn't know which and I didn't, I want to pick that out as... Oh, it's one of the ones that I painted. Yeah. Uh, you can see on the back there's a couple of fuck ups. Uh, anyway, um, her release is normally available in quite a few stores. Um, few many in Japan has got quite Good a few. That. She does quite a lot with uh, Paradise. You know, our friends over in Paradise, Taiwan, who yeah. we've got, you've got a picture up there of it. Um, and uh, Spanky, who I've never dealt with. <laughs> Spanky? I've never, I don't know, it's a store it's a apparently. Yeah, it's a store. Where is it? Um, it's in Japan. I've never, I've never yes. dealt with Spanky. Uh, but if you're in the US, uh, go for My Plastic Heart. She does some stuff with them. Recently, uh, she's just put some stuff on, I think, uh, 3D Retro. Some um, stuff that was left over from Design Con, so they might still be there. I don't know. I know it's an Instagram... Um some little planters like I think with that guy yeah, yeah. or the seed list yeah those have literally just come out um, they are from a company called Succulent and Gift in Taiwan mm. um, they do do international shipping I've just actually ordered four are they like 3D printed or are they no like... no no they're fully like uh, com- um, cement cement okay so uh, yeah they're proper planters I'm hoping one of those is for me that you've ordered <laughs> um, yeah well maybe thing that creates. have you done any sort of collaboration with the kind of obviously like last time we normally show like the real head like the figure size she does. This Any, is normally the size she does. She did recently. But like a collab with like one of those. I'm gonna say, no, I don't say bigger no. eyes, but the figure kind of eyes. No, no, no. They're more of a different kind of breed. They, I think okay. they sort of stick to each other. But these guys, she does collaborations with um, mostly T9G and mostly because um, they like more monsters, not yeah, like that's figures. It. More monsters. Sort of. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's more kaiju. But this is really, really like cute kaiju. So all these figures are made by Medicom. So like you know, Medicom they basically do all the soft vinyl for quite a few different people like okay, so she doesn't literally... and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know that. No, they don't do the moulds themselves. So quite a few of these have got some really interesting um, paint styles and just ways that they've made them. Mm. So like, I don't know, I've got one pretty much of each here of the different ways of doing it. And I just like looking at them. And when you, if you're quite into seeing the process that goes in behind making this Fubi, it's quite interesting to see how the, each little individual mould has been made and you sort of... You get your money's worth with yeah. them. They're not just standard plastic. Uh, the seedlesses, the smaller seedlesses, are part of um, the Paradise Toys' recently uh, recent kaiju hunting box. So that's Ooh. like my... It's like a blind box, a bit like Unboxing yeah, yeah, Friends. Yeah. Um, but they do really, really nice um, stuff. I really want them to do another season of that. So if you can get hold of some of those, they're quite cheap. Do you have a, like an actual store there? Like a, no, no, I don't think so. So it's all through... No, yeah, there's mostly like a blog and it's, and she sells through Paradise Little Hut, loads and loads of people like that. Yeah. She does have an Instagram and it's here. here. Yeah, it's probably there. Also, I've seen some stuff um, being sold through the Little Hut as well. So just keep an eye on, out, on her... Um, on her Instagram page, normally she does collaborations with different stores and releases colorways for them. Uh, but yeah, have a little look out. She's pretty cool. Uh, really, really nice person. Shoko Nakazawa. Yeah, I like it. Pop, pop. Adios. By the way, we've totally forgot to tell you, if you just type in Shoko Nakazawa on YouTube, there's a couple of, uh, there's three videos on um, about her painting um, some Safubi. So if you're interested in seeing how it's done and how, what style she does, she does some really, really nice dry brushing. She does one on air brushing and it's just, it's just lovely. Um, it's quite relaxing. I will make people relaxing when they watch for me when you're watching them paint. Anyway, right, goodbye.
Goodbye. That's, that's it. Kink. That's it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>